very dense. Oh no, I already messed up. Eternal flame, oh no. Okay, now I just got really nervous. This is 100% user error. I Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting collaboration to share with you. Today I'm collaborating with another YouTuber named Christy Bergman. Before we even start, I just want to give her a shout out. She has been doing a trying makeup every day. I'm just looking at her channel. She is on day 228. That is so crazy and she tries all different types of makeup. So I will link her channel down below. Be sure to go see her version of today's video and check out all the different makeup that she's trying it's incredible she is so sweet i just love watching her videos she just has such a nice spirit and the way that she talks is so positive and i am really excited to be collaborating with her so the video we decided to do was trying a full face worth of dollar store products so i have makeup on right now i'm gonna have to wash it off and i'm gonna be trying dollar store products i have never before ever bought makeup from the dollar store. Back in the day, we only really had a few types of dollar stores. Now we have Dollar Tree and things like that. But I don't ever really remember seeing makeup and not, and if there was makeup, there wasn't a lot of options. So I have a bag of goodies here. I think this entire bag costed like 12 to $15. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree which again, if you watch her channel, she is the queen of Dollar Tree. She gets so much cool stuff there. Um, so yeah, let's just like get into it. Most of the stuff is LA colors. Actually, I think all but two things. So let's just start from the beginning with foundation. I did not see a primer at all, but I found this liquid, LA colors liquid color, it's just called liquid makeup and I'm hoping that it is foundation bronzer I found this LA colors powder blush and brush applicator in bronze this looks really pretty there it seems like there's a lot of gold flecks in there it's very it's definitely very bronzy next we have this blush this is the same powder blush and brush applicator in pink pretty color I thought that shade would be nice okay moving on to eyebrows I could not find really any eyebrow products except for this eyebrow mascara and this is by Mariposa you can see that this is for blondes, <laughs> that's what it says. And I'm probably gonna use some of the eyeshadow that I got to fill in my brows because I have like nothing. I could not find a primer at all or a highlighter. So th those are definitely missing. I found maybe a makeshift highlighter with this LA Colors loose eyeshadow and I thought this looked really, really pretty. So it's just like this loose color. That looks pretty. I thought maybe it could work as highlighter as well. Then I bought a whole eyeshadow palette. This is the LA Colors 12 Shadow in Traditional. So that looks good and I think I could pull an eyeshadow, or sorry, my eyebrows doing that one. So for eyeliner, I think Christy has actually tried this. This is the LA Colors with Liquid Eyeliner. I'm really nervous about this like tiny, brush because it just seems like it'd be very flimsy. Oh, it is. It dries down pretty nice. It's very black, which um, is nice. So, I don't know. Maybe this will work. <laughs> For mascara, I could only find this tiny little mascara lash building mascara in very black. Um, and it looks like it has a tiny brush, which I'm kind of into because it gets really good precision. Oh yeah, that's like so small. It smells very chemically. And we have a lipstick. This is a lip duo, gloss and lipstick in an eternal flame. 
um, and this was the only option except for like a blue or a white this could work but that looks a little pink it smells like candy in a weird way I don't know if those those two colors match but whatever we're gonna go with it so we have that no liner and I picked up a beauty splendor sponge by sassy and chic because this actually felt like it would be very um, squishy it is pretty squishy it's definitely very dense so I'm going to take off all my makeup on my face wet the beauty blender and come back and let's start applying Okay, I'm back. My face is a little red from the scrubbing. I had a lot of eye makeup on, but I got it all off. Dampened this. It is very dense. Like, I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it's, uh, it's not super soft. I want to give this foundation a fighting chance, so I'm using my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I don't know much about LA colors, so this is my first real introduction. I'm going to squirt it on the back of my hand. Don't know about this color. Oh, I need a mirror. I'm going to just dab this around, and let's just start. Not a bad match, um, but when I'm blending it out, I don't really see any coverage. I wonder if this is just absorbing too much. I'm just going to use my hands. So it's pretty sheer. Like, I don't see any coverage okay so that's the foundation very natural almost like a BB or CC cream um, I would say like no coverage like that is pretty sheer um, anyways so definitely don't like this not going to use this this is going in the trash <laughs> next Let's go in bronzer, and I guess I'll use this to kind of contour my face as well. So I just can and see what kind of payoff we get. It's very sheer like it's not very like um pigmented or i don't know but i really have to get in here yeah okay i'm seeing it but it's very patchy <laughs> okay it's not bad it's a nice color i could see if you were not going to contour with this and just have it be like a overall glow it's not terrible it's definitely not made to contour um it it is hard to get a strong color going but when you do it really does you know get there okay let's go into blush because i'm excited to try this i'm going to it's pretty it's like ballet pink that's what i would call this Hmm. It actually looks more like powder on the skin than blush. I don't see anything. Hmm. No. There's like no... It's very hard to see. Like, it's so fair, so faint. It does not work as a blush. Let's move on to eyebrows. So I'm going to take this palette and inside I'm going to use this color 
to kind of shape my eyebrows and get some, you know, definition. Okay, so there's nothing coming off. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit. You kind of got to get through the first layer of, I don't know, like topping. Okay, there's really no color coming out of at least that shade. Let's try another one. Oh no, the white one, the other tan one. This, These other ones are working. Just specifically not that brown that I was gonna use for my eyebrows. Well, that's okay. So I filled them in as much as I probably could using that palette. So I'm gonna go in with the eyebrow mascara. Oh, it's got a nice tiny little wand. Tiny little wand. And let's see. not bad at all I actually really like that 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 filled in quite a bit okay for being from the dollar store this is like the winner so far this is not bad at all I like that okay so I am going to switch to eyeshadow I'm gonna go in with a blending brush I'm gonna go in with this color right here and just do like a little bit in the crease it's not bad not a bad color nice and subtle um and then i'm actually gonna go in with this la colors shimmering loose shadow with brush oh okay so it just comes out. Interesting. Okay, let's see. That's pretty. That's really pretty, actually. It's really hard to see, but it's very um, shimmery. I'm going to take just this big fluffy Real Tex Techniques brush. And let's see how this goes. Oh, it's pretty. Actually, it doesn't have as much pigment as it looked like in the bottle. But it's pretty for a subtle look. I don't even know if you can see that. <laughs> I'm going to try it for um, some highlight. pretty highlight it's a, a nice highlighter actually I would use that as a highlighter okay moving on to eyeliner okay now I just got really nervous oh it's so hard oh that is not a good flick oh no I already messed up Oh, oh no. Oh. This is 100% user error. I actually don't think that this is a bad product. I don't like the applicator and I am not used to something so flimsy. Oh man, look at that huge chunk. Oh, I just ruined it. You know what? I, I just, I can't even fix it. I think it would just be terrible if I tried. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, let's try this mascara. Um, let's see. Oh, I got on there. This mascara doesn't have a lot of product on it. It feels like the wand, like it doesn't, I don't know. I 
I just like a thick coating of mascara. Okay, so it's not the best I've ever tried. It was actually not the worst. I just, I'm not a huge fan. And it looks like I've never done my makeup before. This is what I feel like. It's weird to not use your regular tools and your products and things that you're used to and it's very difficult to, I don't know, make it look the way that you want it to. Okay, let's go in with, what is this called? Eternal Flame. So I don't have a lip liner or anything so I'm just gonna go right in with this bright red lipstick. Okay, you know, it's not, I don't necessarily like this color on me, but it's not a bad red. Like, if you were going to a party and you needed to, like, amp up your look from maybe going from work to somewhere, um, and you only could run into the Dollar Tree, this is not a bad product. Like, it's really good coverage for one kind of go-around. And then it has the lip gloss so I actually like it without the lip gloss but let's try it hmm. like nothing came out so it's just moving around the product nothing is coming out there okay the gloss is uh, no good the applicator doesn't pull any of the product out and so it's like rubbing a dry brush on your fresh coat of lipstick so i'm going to try this over again and voila this is the final look i have had way better days for makeup i think the best product out of everything was the eyebrow mascara i will definitely be keeping this and you know i might keep this because it's kind of a nice color for Christmas. I don't know. I, I like this red whether or not it looks good on me. I just think it's kind of nice to have in the collection. All of the other stuff, unfortunately, were kind of flops for me. Um, I might want to play around more with this. Like maybe I could try and deepen up the outer corner a little bit, but the colors don't have the best payoff, like as you can see. It's doing a little something, but for how hard I'm actually digging in there, this is not really doing anything. Same with this. It's nice if you need to run into the dollar store for something like a highlighter or just like a pretty and simple eyeshadow, like if you're in a pinch, this is not bad. This is not bad, again. So I was just editing the footage from the Dollar Tree makeup try and I realized that my camera cut out and I never finished the video. So I will finish it now. Some of the products actually surprised me. I think that the Dollar Tree actually does have a few gems in there that you could use and you could add to your collection. Um, but unfortunately, the majority of the ones uh, just didn't work out for me, but that is okay. I so admire Christy for doing a makeup video every single day because trying makeup is really hard. It's so out of your comfort zone when you're not using a product that you normally use and you know how to use. So the fact that she does a new one every day is amazing. So thank you, Christy, for collaborating with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and go over to Christy's channel let her know that you're from my channel and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye!